one two dimensional array can also be represented in column measure order inside the computer's memory. That means, the data will be read in the two dimensional array column wise and accordingly they will be kept in the computer's memory. So, I think our conception will be clear if we look for this particular diagram. So, this is the column number uh, 1 say let it be the column number 2 let it be the column number n. Then at first this column data will be mapped on the linear memory and then column 2 data will be mapped in the linear memory in this way the process will get continued. Okay. Let us go for one example that will clear up our conception and doubts. So, let us suppose this is a matrix having got 4 columns 0 to 3 and 3 rows, rows number are ranging from 0 to 2. So, 2000 is the starting base address and width is 4. So, starting from 2000 the first location that is row number 0, column number 0 will be ranging up to 2000 to 2003 because 2000, 2001 location, 2002 location, 2003 location. Each location contains 1 byte. So, 4 locations can contain 4 bytes of information. So, it will be uh, mapped in this way onto the main memory. Then 2004 to 2007, then 2008 to 2011, then 2012 to 2015 in this way. The memory addresses are getting occupied by the respective two dimensional arrays data. In this way it is getting occupied. Okay. Now, in this particular diagram we have considered base address is equal to 2000, W is equal to 4, that is a row lower bound is 0, row upper bound is equal to 2 accordingly. Okay column lower bound is equal to 0, column upper bound is equal to 3, lock of A 1 2, 1 2 means row number 1, column number 2, what is that location? Row number 1, column number 2, so this location. Okay. Should be 2028, yes 2028 should be the starting address when row is equal to 1 and column is equal to 2. Okay. Now, we are going to write one generic formula with the help of which for any row, any column, I can get the respective starting address in the computer's memory for that very particular cell. So, log of A R C is equal to base of base of the two dimensional array plus W into this is the calculation. Now, see if we consider this particular cell. That means, when I am coming to this particular column, that means already I have traversed two columns. Already I have traversed two columns. For each and every column, how many number of rows? There is a rows upper bound minus rows lower bound plus 1. So, that will de uh, decide the number of rows. So, this number of rows I will be covering and then for this particular column, I shall go inside for some number of rows. So, same thing I have done there is a base address plus w into width into. So, c minus c lower bound that means, how many columns you are you are you are now how at which column you are now. So, now we are having this column number 0 column number 1. So, 2 columns we are having. So, now for 2 I shall go for 2 minus column lower bound. So, 2 minus column lower bound plus how many how many rows are there per column that is rows upper bound minus rows lower bound plus 1 plus for the cth column how many rows inside that is row minus rows lower bound. So, in this way if you just put these values for this particular case you will be getting 2028 see. So, here r is equal to 1 and c is equal to 2 base is equal to 2000 already have, uh, we have written. So, w star means 4 star. So, c is equal to 2. So, 2 is there and c lower bound is 0 star this is the row upper bound minus row lower bound plus 1 plus row number row number is 1. So, 1 and row lower bound is equal to 0. So, it is nothing but 2 it is nothing but 3. So, 2 into 3 plus 1. So, 2 into 3 plus 1 means it is 7 7 into 4 I am going to get 2 0 2 8 in this way the things are taking shape. So, how many columns are there 4 columns how many rows are there? 3 rows. 
So how many cells are there? 12 cells. For each and every cell, how many bytes? 4 bytes. For all 12 cells, how many bytes? That is 48 bytes. So that's why I have started with 2000. I have ended with 2048. So 48 bytes of memory space and the required respective addresses have been used in this mapping. So this is known as column major order mapping of two dimensional array onto the computer's memory. I think you are getting the logic. If numerical problems come on this particular domain, I think you should easily answer that one because this is the formula. You should have to remember this one. Otherwise, you can easily deduce the formula in the exam hall also. Thanks for watching this video.